Recently, my colleague Jackie Chicarico joined me down in Atlantic City for the New Jersey Education Association. Jackie did a whole range of important interviews, but this one you're not going to want to miss. It's with a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist Nicole Hannah Jones. She discusses the 1619 Project. Talk about the project and how it's being incorporated into school curriculums across the United States. Sure. So the 1619 Project is a series of essays, as well as, as you mentioned, uh, pieces of poetry and prose uh, that really makes the argument that slavery is foundational to both American history and the legacy of slavery has shaped so much of our modern society. So m all of the essays are around something in modern America with its roots in slavery. And so the way that educators have used it has just been in a myriad of ways. Um, it's been used in social studies to bring a kind of deeper understanding about the legacy of slavery, but also to help students understand why their communities look like they do right now. Uh, it's been taught in English classes and literature classes where uh, students are learning uh, argumentation and uh, using it to create their own poetry or fiction. It's been used in art classes. Um, and we also have um, an entire education network. It's called the 1619 uh, Ed education.org and there you have cohorts of teachers across the country who are engaging in their own big projects in the classroom. New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation and that didn't happen by accident. It's the result of parents, educators and communities working together year after year to give our students a world-class education no matter the challenge because parents and educators know that with a shared commitment to our public schools our children can learn, grow, and thrive. And together, we can keep New Jersey's public schools the best in the nation. Also brought to you by the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, moving the region through air, land, rail, and sea. The Terrell Fund, supporting reimagined child care. The New Jersey Economic Development Authority. The New Jersey Education Association. New Jersey's Clean Energy Program, lighting the way to a clean energy future. PSE&G, committed to providing safe, reliable energy now and in the future. New Jersey Institute of Technology, NJIT, makes industry-ready professionals in all STEM fields. Johnson & Johnson, and by Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, working for a healthier, more equitable New Jersey.